they're gonna get to the VGAs. <sighs> okay. I can do this. I can't do this! <laughs> Nominated for Character of the Year. Now I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late because I'm gonna be dead. <sighs> oh, Black was a bad choice. Oh, thank God a well. <laughs> to hell with the VGAs. I need water. I'm probably just gonna give it to the Joker anyway. What the? I won? <laughs> oh, cool, I won. Oh, thanks, everybody. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna go drink my own pee now. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be covering the Platinum Trophy and 100% for Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception Remastered. Uh, just quickly, again, I would like to thank all of you for the support on the channel. Last video, I celebrated hitting 100 subs, which you guys have gone and absolutely smashed out of the park, as I am currently sitting at over 500 subs, which is absolutely nuts. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribed. It gives me lots of motivation to keep making these videos for your guys' entertainment. Very grateful to you all. And also, don't forget, if you haven't already, it would be awesome if you hit that like and subscribe button too. Back to the video. So, Uncharted 3 is the direct sequel to number 2 and is the final game in the Nathan Drake original trilogy. Set two years after Among Thieves, the story follows Nathan Drake, of course, and his mentor, Victor Sullivan, as they search for the legendary city of Aram of the Pillars, while battling a mercenary group led by Sullivan's former employer, Catherine Marlowe. Gameplay is pretty much the same as the second one, but they added in a few new stealth animations. Hey, look at Randy Orton slithering. Oh, watch, like out, watch, out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Added swimming combat in certain sections. And of course, climbing combat sections. Which, spoiler alert, were absolutely terrible. What's wrong with you, bro? What the heck? Tripping, bro. You tripping. <laughs> they also improved on melee combat with better animations and added in some new types of enemies. Just my pride. They're gonna need a plunger. In terms of the Platinum, there are 51 trophies in the base game, consisting of combat, difficulty and speedrun trophies, and a few miscellaneous here and there. PSN Profiles puts it at a 5 out of 10 difficulty, takes only one playthrough and about 15 hours to complete. Like the two previous games, however, the Nathan Drake Collection added in the Extended Collection DLC Trophy Pack, which again has 8 trophies, all the same as the other games. PSM Profiles puts this at a 5 out of 10 difficulty, which is probably wrong, as this is actually based on the fact that you should be able to do the glitch to make Brutal easier, but as I found out, it doesn't work. So it's probably more like an 8.5 or 9 out of 10, based on Uncharted 2. Uh, it takes two playthroughs and about 20 hours. So in total, that means it's going to take about 35 hours and three playthroughs to 100%. And also, that means there is a total of 59 trophies to get. So let's get trophy hunting. <laughs> Alright, so just like the other two games, first step is going to be beating the game on crushing difficulty whilst finding all the treasures in the game. Okay, so first up we have trophy one, first treasure. Find one treasure. So this is the start of finding all the treasures in the game. There are 100 again, and of course a strange relic, so 101 to get. Speaking of the strange relic, trophy number two, relic finder, find the strange relic. So similar to the first and second game, you can find this pretty early on in the game. And as you can see, as many of you pointed out in the comments, it is a reference to Jack and Daxter again. 
On to trophy number three, Apprentice Fortune Hunter. Find 20 treasures. We are now one-fifth of the way done with finding all the treasures in the game. Trophy four, 20 headshots. Kill 20 enemies with headshots. That's similar to the first and second game. You get this one done fairly quickly in your playthrough as you'll mainly be aiming for the head to take out the enemies quickly. So you'll rack up those headshots pretty quick. Trophy 5, Bare Knuckle Brawler, defeat 20 enemies with hand-to-hand -hand combat. You should get this one just by playing through the story, as there are plenty of hand-to-hand -hand combat scenarios, especially even at the start of the game in Chapter 1. This stuff's got to be at least 400 years old. Say, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Anyway, after restarting that checkpoint so I could get that treasure after it just randomly disappeared through the floor, we are getting chased by a bunch of spiders here, as you can see. Um, and you know, I somehow die in a cutscene to them, and Sully just randomly disappears. Uh, I am actually a bit of an idiot here, because in my later playthroughs, like the speed run, I actually realized that you could press square to get the spiders off of you, but because it was on crushing, it doesn't come up with the button prompt, so I didn't know. But yeah, I could have actually survived there, I was just being a bit stupid. I've got to say, out of the three Uncharted games I've played, this one definitely has some of the best set pieces in the game. Like, just look at that. Just escaping from this burning building, like, wow. Oh my god! Wow! Anyway, back to business. Uh, this is the first annoying part of crushing difficulty where I get s my foot stuck in the floorboards and I get insta-killed by these enemies because I only have a pistol. After finally getting past that mess, we are on to the next trophy, number six, which is Throwback oh, no. Master. Oh shit! Grenade! Throwback, grab it! No, yes, sir! Grab it, what the fuck? throw back a grenade and defeat two enemies at once with it. Uh, so that one I actually got fairly lucky. I just happened to throw back a grenade and kill two enemies at once. Uh, when I first saw this animation I thought it was pretty funny. You, when you melee combat someone you have a chance to reach and pull out the pin on their grenade and just blow them up. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> On to the next trophy, number 7, 30 kills with the arm micro. Uh, so I don't know what it was, but in this game I actually did like the micro SMG compared to the first and second game. It just seemed to be a lot more useful in this game for some whatever reason. Trophy number 8, Hangman, kill 20 enemies with gunfire while hanging. As I said in the intro, these parts of the game absolutely suck, but it does get you this trophy pretty easily because they actually added in sections where you can do this in this game. On to trophy number 9, Headshot Expert, kill 5 enemies in a row with headshots. Just like the other headshot trophies, again, you'll be aiming for the head quite a lot, so eventually you'll get this trophy in, at some stage of the game in whatever playthrough you're playing. Already onto trophy 10, Bare Knuckle Slugger, defeat 50 enemies with hand-to-hand -hand combat. So similar to the previous hand-to-hand -hand combat, they really put an em emphasis on melee in this game, so you'll get this one done just playing through the story. Trophy 11, Photobomb, Explore Photo Mode. Uh, so just like in the second game, I did this one by complete accident, trying to switch weapons, and I accidentally clicked down on the D-pad, but yeah, that's all you gotta do, and you'll get this trophy. On to trophy 12, 100 headshots, kill 100 enemies with headshots. Okay, I promise this is the last headshot trophy. Again, you'll get this just by playing through the story. Easy. Trophy 13, Skilled Fortune Hunter, find 40 treasures. So we're now 40 out of the 100. Uh, I did use a guide again for this game just to make it a bit easier on myself. Okay, so now onto this cutscene. Cutter puts on an absolute exceptional acting performance. You son of a bitch. pull the trigger. My pleasure. And backstab, shoot him straight in the chest. We have to start running away. And you know what time it is, it's a part where you can't shoot back. 
and defend yourself. So you know what's gonna happen. Yep, that's right. A bunch of deaths. years later. So after that mess, we finally get to Yemen and we catch up with your favorite, <laughs> Elena Fisher. How are you, Elena? Good, thanks. You, uh, you look great. After that, we have a bit of a run-in with some of Marlo's men's and we absolutely slap the hell out of this dude with a fish, which actually is a trophy coming up soon. <laughs> And then by a complete accident, we find the next tomb that we have to go explore, and Nathan makes an awesome joke. Well, well, well. <laughs> it's cute. What? Because it's a well. Shall we? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! After exploring the tomb and escaping some of Marlo's men, we are then hit with a tranquilizer dart, and something I didn't expect in an Uncharted game, but we... Start tripping balls. After that, we wake up in a ship after being kidnapped, and we get the next trophy Adept Fortune Hunter. Find 60 treasures. So, again, that's 60 out of 100. So, 40 more to go. On to the next trophy, trophy 15, 30 kills with the Cal 7. Uh, so, this was like the AK 47 in this game. Um, it was pretty good. Assault rifle and very helpful on the harder difficulties in this game. Good weapon. And of course, here is the dreaded climbing section. Now, on crushing it wasn't too bad, but later on you'll see on brutal it is way worse. But in this clip, I tried to... I thought of doing the grenade hangman trophy, so I tried to use my grenades, and I accidentally killed myself. Oh boy. Shit. Nice. On to the next trophy, number 16, 30 kills with the Gmail. Uh, so this was like the burst assault rifle in this game. You can scope in. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty good assault rifle. One of the better weapons in the game too. You can get good headshots with it. Straight after that is trophy number 17, blind fire marksman. Defeat 20 enemies by blind firing while in cover. Uh, so this one, you'll, if you're playing on crushing, you'll probably get, because there are situations where you have to blind fire or else you'll get lasered and die instantly. Okay, next trophy. Number 18, 30 kills of the Mark NDI, which are the grenades in the game. This one you'll definitely get just playing through the story, just as long as you remember to use those grenades in any tricky situations. After that, we try to escape from this ship junkyard. And I seriously don't know how this happened, because this is meant to be a cutscene, but I somehow die here. When it's literally meant to be a cutscene where you can't die. After making it onto the main cruise ship and accidentally blowing a hole in it so it starts sinking, um, I was able to do this, which I completely by accident did, but that is actually going to be a trophy down the line. Again, backing up my statement from before, this game just has some insane set pieces, like, seriously, what is even happening right now? Can't get much worse than this. No! Yes, you can. After somehow surviving a cruise ship sinking, we are now onto Trophy 19, Expert Fortune Hunter. Find 80 treasures. So we are almost done. About four fifths of the way through. We've just got 20 more treasures to get. Onto Trophy 20, Master Ninja, kill 50 enemies by melee attacking from behind. So these are pretty much just stealth kills, which, like I said, you'll probably get lots of these throughout the story, as there are, there's a lot more emphasis on stealth in this game than the previous two games. Again, back to some more insane Uncharted set pieces, he somehow jumps, Nathan jumps from a, the front of this jeep onto the plane's wheels, the landing gear, and somehow makes it, and that's how he gets onto the plane. Now I'm sure most of you already know about this scene. This is the most probably iconic set piece in all of Uncharted history, where Nathan somehow survives getting thrown out the back of the plane and climbs back in somehow. Uh, 
Um, somehow, my first time through, I failed to do this. Wow. Immediately following this, another insane set piece. The plane blows a hole in the side of it, and Nathan falls out of it and still somehow survives by gliding towards a box, grabbing onto it, releasing the parachute, and somehow surviving. It's just, he just built different, bro. Which, just like before, I somehow stuffed up again. A great success. Now, this cutscene is just totally awesome. It just completely shows how Nathan is such a badass. He literally took down this plane all by himself, and of course, here is the iconic Uncharted 3 shot. Again, Nathan somehow survives the impossible. I don't know how. He somehow survives like two or three days out in the desert just wandering. But wait a minute. What's that? What's all that movement back there? Oh, What's all that movement? A few moments later. After all that, we finally find a settlement, but it is unfortunately abandoned. Ghost. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because. After making inside, we are gridded with more enemies where we get the 21st trophy 30 kills with the Mag 5. Uh, so, this is one of the better weapons in the game, just like the Deagle in the second game. This thing one taps enemies, it's so clutch on crushing and brutal difficulty. Okay, this bit was just stupid. I somehow got killed straight out of a cutscene, which it only happened that one time, but still, how does this even happen? Next trophy, trophy 22, 30 kills with the M9. So this is definitely the best assault rifle in the game. Very accurate, does heaps of damage. The only bad thing is it doesn't really appear until late into the game, so just make sure you're using it when it does appear. Uh, just appreciating some more great set pieces in this game. This one you were literally riding on horseback, which I would never have expected in a charter game, as you chase down enemy vehicles in this convoy and have to take them out. It's pretty much the, like the convoy chase in the second game, but just better. As we're going through this canyon trying to catch up, whoa, we get absolutely jumped by this guy. Oh no, he's going to kill us. He's whipping out a gun. Okay, this part completely shocked me. No. Please. Sully. <laughs> Straight after that emotional scene, we are treated to the supernatural enemies in this game, which are uh, actually quite hard as they can teleport and flank you very easily and they do lots of damage and they have like three lives because whenever you kill them they like respawn and set a blaze like that guy just did and then teleports and then boom didn't even see him he just teleported behind me and because of this I was able to get the first of eight in the extended collection DLC supernatural born killers defeat five Jin with a sniper rifle uh, so unlike the second game where you had to spawn one in, this game actually gives you plenty of opportunities to kill these guys with Sniper. It's actually probably the best weapon to use against them. Honestly, I don't even know what's happening at this point. Okay, so after that trip, we earn Master Fortune Hunter, find 100 treasures. Um, so remember, there's actually 101 because the strange relic. So we've found 100 treasures, but we've still got one more to go. 
And the next trophy we're getting is number 24, which is 30 kills with the Tau Sniper, which was pretty much like a, a revolver with a scope on it. And it was almost as good as a normal sniper rifle. It was very, very good weapon that did come in clutch quite a lot. Uh, for some reason here, Nathan tries to shoot the enemies with his fingers. What are you aiming at? After Nathan finally remembers how to use a gun properly, we are revealed that Sully is still alive. Wow, it's almost like I knew he was going to be in the fourth game. After finding out Sully is still alive, we get the 25th trophy, Master Th Chief the Thief Collection. Collect all treasures and the strange relic. Done and dusted. After Sully somehow survives in the grenade launcher, straight to the back of the head, and then falls off. Oh wait, no, he's fine. We finally get to the final part. Where we have to save him from drowning, and with this weird underwater pistol that shoots rocket launches, I don't even know what that is, we somehow end up destroying this whole city with three goddamn bullets. We've gotta go! Run! Come on, son! Get up! Come on! Please tell me you didn't swallow any of that water. I don't think so. why we can't have nice things. So on our way out of the crumbling city, we are under trophy 26, 30 kills with the T-Bolt Sniper. Uh, this is a really good weapon in this game. It's like the Dragon Sniper in the other games, one shots enemies, so very, very useful. Sully reiterates what I said before. some insane parkour across the crumbling city. We're down to the final boss fight against Talbot, the freaking alien man. Weird, I don't even know what his vibe is, but he's just weird. And after this, we will complete the game. Time to end this, son of a bitch. Sorry, just gonna quickly pause this, but how the hell does this dude not have any bullet holes on him? I just shot him in the chest and the face and he is completely fine. And with Talbot now gone, disappeared, we are going to get our 27th trophy, Chartered Easy. By finishing the game on Easy, that changes difficulty, which of course is going to stack with Chartered Normal, Chartered Hard, and of course we played the game on Crushing, so Chartered Crushing. And with that, the conclusion of Nathan Drake's story is over for the time being. Sorry. And of course, he's got that Riz. It's all right. I swapped it for something better. <laughs> Let's get out of here, huh? And with completing the story, the step one is done. So now we're going to move on to step two, where we're going to speed run the game as Donut Drake once again. Hey there, big fella. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? How's that? <laughs> Uh, here are my stats after the crushing playthrough if you wanted to look to look at them I did forget to show them earlier and so the some of them would be from the melee combat I just did in chapter one, but they're pretty much the same So here you are if you want to look at them pause them if you want to have a closer look uh, For all the trophies following this I realized whilst editing that I forgot to do three trophies So discard whenever I say the trophy number just look in the bottom left. That's the right one. Sorry about that Okay, so we're on to trophy 28 now, Survivor. Kill 75 enemies in a row without dying. Uh, so I did this on this speedrun as I had it on easy mode, so it was pretty easy to get 75 kills in a row without dying. Definitely wouldn't have been possible on crushing or brutal. 
Okay, so whilst we were going for the main Donut Drake speedrun, beating the game in under 4 hours and 15 minutes, we were also going for the three chapter speedruns as well, which this one, chapter 7, is one of them, where you have to beat it in 7 minutes, no, sorry, 9 minutes and 30 seconds, and as you can see on my first playthrough, I unfortunately did not get that time, I was about 10 seconds off. Okay, we are now on a trophy 29, run and gunner, kill 20 enemies by shooting from the hip. This one you'll, you you can easily get on the speed run if you're doing it, because you just got to run and gun like it says. Oh my god! Oh my god! He on X Games mode. What? What the? On to trophy thirty. Brute Beta, successfully counter all of a Brute's damage giving attacks. So this was, uh, I did this on the speedrun on easy as it actually gave me the button prompts to dodge his attacks. So definitely do it on easy difficulty, it makes it very easy. And straight after the next trophy, 31, he's gonna need a Sturgeon. Hit three enemies with fish in the market. Uh, so this one's pretty kind of random, it's only in this one area of the game and you just gotta hit the attack button while near one of the fish and you'll absolutely slap the hell out of someone with it. Okay, so a little bit later on we get trophy number 32, which is Sidearm Master. Defeat 30 enemies in a row with your sidearm. So while doing the speedrun, I made a focus on trying to do this one. Uh, so you can only use your sidearm weapons like a pistol. And yeah, I got it eventually. And then a tiny bit later, trophy 33, Marco Solo, playing the swimming pool in the cruise ship. So this is actually a reference to the second game, where in that game, there's a funny little easter egg where you would play Marco Polo with Chloe. But this time, it's just Nathan. So, Marco Solo. Trophy 34, catch that plane, beat chapter 16, one shot at this in less than 12 minutes. So I was able to do this second chapter speedrun whilst doing the main speedrun, fortunately. Speaking of speedruns, Trophy 35 is My Horse is Faster, beat chapter 20 caravan in less than 15 minutes. So this is the final chapter speedrun and I was able to do this first try as well. And after all that, we are onto the second of eight for the extended collection, which is Neediest for Speediest. Achieve a complete speedrun time of less than 4 hours and 15 minutes. So this is speedrunning the whole game. I was able to do it in 3 hours and 48, so I had still had half an hour to spare about. And we paired that with the Fat and the Furious Yemen Drifter, which is speedrunning the game as Donut Drake. Nice little Fast and Furious reference there, just like the other ones in the other two games. However, we are not quite done yet, as remember, I did not get the Chapter 7 speedrun, so I had to go back and do that, try and get it in 9 minutes and 30 seconds, and as you can see, I actually stuffed it up again. This time, I was slightly quicker, so instead of taking about 16 seconds, I was about 9 seconds too slow, unfortunately. But don't worry, we came back stronger the next attempt and got Outrun the Flames, beat Chapter 7 in less than 9 minutes and 30 seconds. So this time, I was actually able to beat it with 33 seconds to spare, so I was clearly doing something wrong those first two times. And here are all my official speedrun times, so if you want to absolutely destroy them yourselves, go ahead and be my guest. Okay, with that, step two has been completed, and now we're going to move on to step three, where we're going to clean up the rest of the DLC trophies, except for Brutal, which will be later on. So, whilst we're looking at the stats, we're going to get Leader of the Pack, Compare Statistics with Friends. And, as you can see, I still have no friends. Insert sad meme here. I said sad meme editor, now I'm gonna have to fire you. Oh wait, I am the editor. <laughs> Got he. Okay, so for trophy five of eight, we are gonna get cheaters gonna cheat, activate a tweak. So this one's pretty simple, just gotta beat the game and you will unlock all these tweaks and you just have to put one of them on. And if you couldn't tell, I put on Sully as an alternate costume as we need to get this trophy, Cosplay, which is killing an enemy while playing as a character other than Drake. So I decided to put Sully on in this game as I'd already done Elena Fisher and Chloe Frazier in the other two games. So why not young Sully? Look at this place. 
Okay, so now we're trying to beat the final chapter on normal difficulty or higher. I do have uh, one shot, one kill, and infinite ammo on. And I was going through it fine until out of nowhere, this happened. So you know I had to exact my revenge on that RPG dude. Okay, before our next DLC trophy, we're gonna get trophy 37, Reload Master, defeat 50 enemies in a row without auto reloading. So this one, you have to manually ro reload, so you're pretty much spamming R1 the whole time. And I was just trying to do this throughout the speedrun and doing the cleanup, so that's how I got it. So after that, I got trophy 7 of 8, YOLO Deceptively, which is beating the chapter on normal difficulty or higher. That means we only have one more trophy for the DLC pack left. And with that, step 3 has been completed, and now we're going to move on to step 4, where we're going to clean up the rest of the other miscellaneous trophies to get the Platinum. So that means trophy 38 is Dynamite Master, kill 4 enemies with 1 explosion. Uh, this one took me a few attempts, but this place in chapter 16, if you have a grenade, you're able to do it. It took me a while to get, but eventually I got it. Whilst we're here, I was able to get the 39th trophy, 30 kills with the SAS-12, which is the shotgun of this game, um, which is surprising because this game there were quite a few weapons I actually had to go back and get the trophies for. On to trophy 40, Grenade Hangman, kill 10 enemies with grenades while hanging. So in the same spot in chapter 6 and again with the grenade, you just got to hang on this box here and throw it at them as soon as they get out of the van and eventually just keep restarting checkpoint and you'll get it. Next up, trophy 41, Combat Leapfrog. Kill 10 enemies in a row, alternating hand-to-hand -hand combat with gunfire. So this is a new trophy number 3 compared to 1 and 2 and you just had to find a nice open combat area like this one and just keep switching between melee and range fire. And trophy 42 is Throwback. Defeat 10 enemies with thrown back grenades. Uh, so this one... I just went to this spot here in the last chapter and just kept throwing back the grenades at them. We are now onto trophy 43, which is Riot Rocker. Kill 5 right shield enemies by running over their shield. So this is what I accidentally did before in the video. And yeah, you just gotta do this 5 times to take out the right shield enemies. Trophy 44 is Land Shark. Defeat 20 enemies while swimming. So just like it says, you just got to be in the water and kill enemies. And this is the best spot to do it. This is really the only place in any chapter where you are able to do this. So chapter 13, I believe, or 12. On to trophy 45, 30 kills with the Dragon Sniper. Uh, so this one was actually, I had to come back and do, as the Dragon Sniper doesn't really appear much throughout the game, or it has very hidden spawn, so definitely have to go back and do that one. And again, chapter 12, 13 is the best spot. Trophy 46, 30 kills with the pack 80. So this is like the minigun of this game, but instead it's an LMG. And you can really only get it in this one spot in the game whilst on the cruise ship. I think chapter 14, so definitely going to have to come back and do that. Alright, Sully. Okay. Anyway, trophy 47 is 30 kills with the RPG-7. So this doesn't spawn much either throughout the game, so you definitely have to come back and do this one. And in chapter 12, the RPG spawns up here and a few other spots in this water area, so best place to go back and do it. And of course, following that, the final trophy is going to be the Platinum. Earn all Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception Remastered Trophies. So there you have it. We have gotten the Platinum for the Nathan Drake Collection, all three games. With the Platinum, that means we now have Step 4 complete, and we are going to move on to Step 5, which is to get the final trophy of the game to get the 100%, which is beat the game on Brutal Difficulty. Okay, to start Brutal off, we're going to start off with a bit of lighthearted fun. Melee combat isn't too bad in Brutal, but we're going to have fun with this little bit of a stupid glitch here. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Uh, also quickly, here's me trying to figure out if I can somehow glitch Brutal so I'm able to get cheats, just like I did in the first game. But unfortunately, it doesn't work, just like in the second game. We're gonna have to do this legit. So let's cue the death montage. Oh, 
Okay, just quickly with this area, I like to say this area was really annoying because I noticed that Uncharted 3, unlike the previous two games, focused a lot more on these open combat areas, so it gave opportunity for the enemies to flank, so you couldn't really sit behind cover anywhere. That was probably the most difficult thing with this game, is the enemies flanking all the time. But yeah, this area was one of the worst, and it's pretty much the first combat encounter like this in the game. Those were the last two enemies. I only just noticed this on my third playthrough, but they never actually explain what happened to this guy, because it has nothing to do with the supernatural in this game, so I seriously have no idea why this guy is like a zombie. They never explain it. Anyway, back to some more stupid deaths. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> here comes the first climbing section of the game that is absolutely infuriating. I died so many times here, it is actually ridiculous. I hate these sections of the game. They are the worst. Oh, we finally got through that mess. Oh, 
Um, I have seriously don't know how this happened. Please don't roast me, but I stuffed up a button mashing prompt for some reason. Ah? Okay, seriously, please don't roast me. I did it twice. I was spamming circle. I seriously don't know how this happened, but I'm sorry. <gasps> You're trash, kid. Oh god, please no! Not another climbing section! <gasps> Oh my god, it's the last dude! What could possibly go wrong? What? He just took a bullet to the head! Only it's only a game. Why you have to be mad? Keep an eye on him. Congratulations, you played yourself. A few moments later. You lose. Are you serious right now, bro? Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you- Oh my god, this is the final dude! <gasps> I'm a fidget spinner. <laughs> really? None of those bullets hit me, bro.
Oh my god, yes, the last two again! Are you stupid or something? Let's go, final boss! Don't stuff this up! Okay, all good. Just respawn and I can do this. Wait, what? How is that even fair? Yes, after that. That's right, we have got it. Charted Brutal. Finish the game on Brutal without changing the difficulty. That's right. All trophies done and dusted 100%. Let's go. Uh, so with the 100% now done, I'm actually quickly going to show you my stats if you're interested. Shout out to uh, at Beebs11 for suggesting this. I thought it was a really good idea. So if you guys want to check out my stats, here they are. Just pause if you want to look at them closer. And I'll show the... Uh, Uncharted 1 and 2 as well, so you can compare to those. Uh, also, here's the speed run for the second and first game as well. If you want to see my speed run attempt as well, if see if you want to beat it. Okay, if you didn't bother to pause, I'm just going to break down the important stats real quick, which I think are checkpoints failed, or pretty much how many times I died and total time spent playing. So as you can see, Uncharted One and Three. Well, Uncharted 1 was the easiest, but that's probably because I was able to do the glitch for Brutal. Uncharted 3 just follows afterwards with an extra about two, two uh, yep, two hours. You stupid. No, one hour. And as you can see, Uncharted 2 was definitely the hardest game and took the longest time. So Uncharted 2 is definitely the hardest. Hey. Alright, there you have it, the Platinum N100% for Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception Remastered, Done and Dusted. Uh, in terms of just playing this game, I reckon I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. Good follow up to number 2, good end to the trilogy, nice little end. The story is good enough, there were a few bits that they didn't really explain like I mentioned before, especially with Talbot, like was he meant to be like supernatural or what, I don't really know. Uh, the supernatural was a bit weird in this game because they based it down to a hallucinogenic, but then other times you didn't, you weren't hallucinating, and yet they still had the powers. I don't know. That was confusing. Uh, but other than that, the Sully and Nathan Drake storyline really good. Um, good follow up. Again, gameplay is probably better than number two. They fixed a few things, added a few things in, um, but definitely slightly worse than number two I'd say I think number two would still be my favorite but still definitely give this game a go wait I almost forgot one thing that this game is probably better than Uncharted 2 is the set pieces holy crap the set pieces were insane in this game 
they were just woo. Uh, in terms of the platinum, I'd probably keep it the same as Uncharted 2 and probably give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, some of the annoying trophies in Uncharted 2, like the uh, damage enemies with gunfire and then finish them off with a punch, they were gone in this game. So some of the more annoying trophies were gone and they were replaced with other trophies, but they weren't really that hard. So definitely, probably about the same as number two, I'd say. This platinum, pretty, pretty easy. Definitely, definitely recommend. Alright, uh, 100%. Okay, this one, definitely not as bad as number two. So number two, I gave a two out of ten. I think this one, I'll give a four out of ten. Brutal, I found, was nowhere near as hard. It's still hard, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't as bad as number two. And like I said, for the rest of the trophies, they're pretty much the same as 1 and 2, so those 100% trophies, easy to do, but brutal, still hard, but not as hard, so definitely, probably do this one, if you're not going to do number 2 brutal, maybe try this brutal first and see how you go, it's not as bad. Okay, so with that, the Nathan Drake collection is 100% complete, done and dusted, so I'm just going to give a quick little ranking. I think I have at number three, probably Uncharted 1, definitely the worst game out of the three, but still a good game to start with. Number two, probably put Uncharted 3, uh, it was a bit of a weird one, but still better than number one, probably just underneath number two, and the set pieces are awesome, and of course at number one, Uncharted 2, probably the best Uncharted game I've played so far, I haven't played 4 yet, which could overtake it, but Uncharted 2... Definitely the best out of the three. But yeah, with that, thanks for watching. If you're still watching, whoa, good job. Thank you very much for staying to the end. I appreciate it. You the real ones. Uh, so yeah, if you've watched all three videos as well, thank you again for sticking through all three. I promise four and Lost Legacy will be coming up soon. But yeah, if you stayed all the way to the end of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below Dude Raider, if you made it to the end here. See how many of you can get it. Alright, I'll see you all in the next one. Hey, I'm Nathan Drake. If you're the adventurous type like me, then get in on the Subway Taste for Adventure. For a chance to win epic trips and exclusive access to Uncharted 3. Get your code on 30 ounce drinks today. Subway, where winners eat. Now.